Hey y'all, welcome back. Behind me, I have an air fryer. It was sent in to me by Jasmine of New Air. It's a Magic Chef air fryer. So it's an air fryer oven. And if you know me, you know for the longest time I wanted an air fryer, so I finally got it. It's a healthier way of making your favorite fried foods. So today I'm gonna try out one of my guilty pleasures, some buttermilk fried chicken. So this is something I can't resist. I love a good buttermilk fried chicken. So I thought, why not try it with the air fryer? So keep watching the video to see how the chicken turns out in the air fryer. So Jasmine of New Air sent me this Magic Chef air fryer oven. It's a 10 quart, it's the extra large one. And it's all-in-one air fryer, rotisserie and food dehydrator and it goes up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you've never heard of an air fryer, it's actually a more healthy way to cook or to fry food. And it uses convection to circulate the hot air or you can use a little bit of oil and that cooks it or fries it. So buttermilk fried chicken is one of my guilty pleasures. So I decided the first recipe I wanted to make with this is a buttermilk fried chicken recipe. So let's see how this goes. Um, as you know, fried chicken is high in carbs and it's high in unhealthy fat. So today we're omitting the unhealthy fat and we're just adding the carbs and we'll try to fry it in this oven. So let me open it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I just opened up the box and this is what it looks like. So these are the trays or the racks. So since this is my first time using an air fryer, I'm going to open up the booklet and since I already seasoned my chicken and it's in the fridge. I want to read up on this before I use it tomorrow. And I'll also wash these trays and make sure they're nice and clean before we use them tomorrow. So I read the book and I was also going through this recipe book. There are lots of great recipes. So I was checking out the, let's see, there is a, there's a fried chicken recipe. So I was checking that out, but now I can't find it. Okay. So I was checking out these chicken tenders and they were saying to fry it for 15 to 18 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll use that to fry the chicken I'm doing today. So I read the booklet and I was checking out all the features of the air fryer and some of the parts aren't included. You have to buy them separately. So like the rotisserie part, you have to buy the attachment separately. So we just got three trays and this rack, like a drip tray. So three racks and a drip tray. So today I'll just be using two of the racks and I'll put the drip tray in. So I rinsed it out. So it's nice and clean. It's in. So now that I figured this out, I'm gonna start preparing the chicken so we can eat some fried chicken in a little while. So to start off with our air fryer fried chicken, I'm gonna make the buttermilk marinade. So here are all the spices and the seasoning. I have some whole milk and some vinegar to make our homemade buttermilk. So here I have about five pounds of wings and legs combined and I washed it with some white distilled vinegar. You can also wash it with some lemon juice, some flour to take the sliminess off. So it's nice and clean and fairly dry. So here are the spices and seasonings that I'll use for the marinade. So here I have some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, this is some extra hot chili pepper powder, some onion powder, this is some Hungarian paprika, some dried parsley, crushed Aleppo peppers, and some salt. And of course I have the milk and some white distilled vinegar to make the buttermilk. 
So I'll start by making the buttermilk first. Two cups of whole milk. This is also called full cream milk. And to that, I'll add some vinegar. This is about four and a half tablespoons. You just want to stir that and let it sit for a bit. Once it sits, you'll notice it starts to become a little bit thicker. So I don't know if you could see it on camera, but the milk started to coagulate a little bit. That's the reaction of the vinegar and the milk. So now we have homemade buttermilk. So now it's time to add the spices in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour everything in and I'll whisk just so it gets incorporated. Everything is mixed into the buttermilk and this is how it looks. It has like a pinkish, like a reddish pinkish color and that's from all those red spices that I added. I think it's mostly from that extra hot chili powder because I added a lot of that. So I can't wait until this soaks into the meat. So now I'm going to add that mixture to the chicken. So you want to ensure that all the pieces are submerged in this buttermilk mixture because it's going to soak up all that flavor overnight and it's best to leave it overnight because it gets to really soak in the seasonings and it gets to marinate well. If you can't, do it for a minimum of 4 hours. So now all I'm going to do is cover this with foil, you can do plastic wrap if you want or you can put it in a freezer bag which makes it a little bit easier. But you just have to be careful of it getting holes or anything because then your fridge is going to be a whole mess if it gets a hole in it. So I'm going to cover this up and put it in the fridge. So if you want to add more seasonings, you can also do so. I usually add green seasoning to the mixture but because of this whole coronavirus, I wanted to save my seasonings because I have a limited amount right now. So that's why I decided to use the parsley flakes. So you can use some dry herbs if you want. It's the next day and it's time to make our buttermilk fried chicken in the air fryer. So here's what you'll need. I'm actually doing the same process as I'll do when I'm making a regular buttermilk fried chicken. The only thing we're not using in this recipe is a lot of oil. So here I have the chicken that's been marinating overnight in that lovely buttermilk mixture. I have some all-purpose flour some cornstarch and if you don't have cornstarch use some potato starch if you can't find cornstarch or potato starch just use flour so here I have about four cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of cornstarch in this bowl I have three eggs and a little bit of water and I just whisked it together I have some salt and some more spices there I'm adding some extra hot chili powder some cayenne pepper and some parsley flakes I just wanted to add some more to the flour mixture just to add a little more kick to it. Although it's seasoned with that spicy buttermilk, I still want to add some more spice. You'll also need a freezer bag. I'll add the flour, the cornstarch and the spices to it and then we'll add the chicken in there and give it a good shake so that it gets coated evenly. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the buttermilk mixture. So now that it's drained, I'm going to work on the flour mixture. So to the flour, I'm just adding the cornstarch. So I want to get everything mixed properly before it goes into the bag. Add the salt and that cayenne, the chili powder and the parsley. Give it a good mix. It's gonna get the flour a little bit pink. That um, extra hot chili powder is really strong, the color. So once this is mixed properly, just empty it into the bag. So now that I added the seasoned flour into the freezer bag, 
I'm gonna add some of the chicken pieces, shake it around, let it get well coated with the flour and I'm just gonna let it sit on a tray for a little bit and then we'll dip it into the egg and then back into the flour again. So I'll show you how I do that. Now that the chicken is coated in that seasoned flour mixture, I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes and let that flour kind of stick onto the meat. And in the meantime, I'll do some cleanup and then I'll come back and dip it in the egg and then back into the flour and then we'll add it to the air fryer. So the chicken rested for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna dip it in the egg mixture and then back into the bag where it's gonna get coated the next time and then it's gonna go straight into the air fryer. So now that the chicken pieces are breaded, I'm just gonna brush some avocado oil. This is just gonna give it that kinda, you know, crispy finish. This actually is unnecessary. Of course, if I was deep frying, I couldn't use avocado oil because it's expensive. But with the air fryer, you just need a little bit. So I'm just going to add a few pieces to the rack. I think three should be fine. And of course it made a mess here. So my fried chicken looking nice already. It's been 10 minutes into the frying process. And look at that. So what I'm gonna do is just turn it over and brush the next side with oil and I'll leave it for the next 10 minutes to fry. So I just put the wings in and I oiled the tray also so that 
it doesn't stick. Well, I hope it doesn't. I also oiled both sides of the wings. So let's hope for the best this time. time now it's time to eat so a few things I'll mention before I go ahead and taste it I thought that the racks were a bit tough to clean but that's kind of minor um, you just have to let them soak and then the whatever is stuffed to it will come out so that's just a minor issue then another issue I had was that when I breaded the chicken and I put it onto the racks they were sticking on so when I pulled it off the underside of the chicken, the breading, it was sticking onto the tray. So in my second batch of chicken for the wings, I actually brushed the trays with some avocado oil. I put the wings on, it baked, and I took a spatula, a metal spatula, and took it off and it came out clean. So that was a win there. So I was thinking about putting some foil on the trays, but then I realized that the heat was coming from on top and it was going to the bottom tray. So if you're doing one tray, then you can definitely put foil, but if you have a bottom tray, then you can't put the foil. Uh, another thing is, for the recipe itself, I thought that, even Kevin thought this too, he thought that the breading was a little too thick, so I'll change up the recipe a bit. I don't think it needs such a thick batter, so I think just dipping it in the egg once and then in the flour, last would be better instead of dipping it in flour then egg then flour again so this really just needs a thin coating of flour you can even just do it season it you can marinate it in the buttermilk overnight but just let it air fry without any flour or anything i think that will turn out amazing also so overall i think it looks like fried chicken and smells like fried chicken and Kevin says that it tastes really good so I'm gonna dig in and see how it tastes mm. it's juicy inside and that's because I soaked it in the buttermilk overnight that's why I love doing that it really makes the meat so much more succulent and so moist overall I think this is amazing, it's a healthy alternative. Although it's breaded with the flour, it doesn't have too much of that excess oil soaked in. And of course I use the avocado oil, which is a healthy alternative. So definitely give it a try if you were considering getting an air fryer. And I only tried it once doing this chicken. So it's up to you if you want to try it out. So far I think it's a great buy and I think it's a great way to start off being healthy. I think the second time I use this, I'm going to make the chicken without any flour or anything. I'll season up the chicken with some soy sauce, some ginger and some green seasonings and I'll air fry it and then make it like a Chinese style chicken. But I'll definitely keep experimenting with this air fryer because I'm really happy to start eating a little bit healthier. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little review slash recipe demo. Definitely check out New Air's. Magic Chef air fryer oven. It's a great appliance to have in your home because I think everyone's going a little bit healthier these days. So I think it's a great buy. Check it out if you haven't already. And if you do own an air fryer, please let me know in the comments below what kind of recipes you like to make with it. And please share some with me because as a new owner of an air fryer, I really want some new recipes. So I did get a little book with it. 
So I'm definitely gonna check this out and I can't wait to see your recipes in the comments. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, share your thoughts and your suggestions in the comment box below and subscribe, hit that bell so you'll be notified of every video that I post. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye. I'm about to match up this chicken. I'm so hungry.